hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is Tila Simbi and if you're new you're welcome and please kindly subscribe and if you're already subscribed but thank you so much for coming back you are the best so in today's video I'm going to show you how I ventilated this 4x11 frontal I'm going to show you step by step so let's get into it I'm going to be using this here to ventilate I did say in my uh, cornrows week tutorial that I was going to show you the package of the hair so this is how the package looks like i bought it at my local beauty store you can uh, check if you have it wherever you are so this is how it's looking it's already prepared it doesn't have a weft so your own is just to ventilate everything is already prepared it's soft and the strands are so thin guys they are thin and they are easy to ventilate like it's so soft and it's 18 inches so yeah 18 then um I'm going to remove this elastic right here then I'm going to uh, separate uh, a little portion that I want to use like that make sure you take uh, small portions of here do not hold too much here especially if you're a beginner uh, it will just slow you down like it's not easy to hold too much here so this is how the wig cap is looking I made it previously uh, I have a video on how to make the frontal wig caps and how to draw a hairline so you can check it out so right here i just added uh, a white paper underneath and i'm going to mark half an inch right here at the back and i'm going to ventilate half an inch after that i'm going to flip the hair like i uh, said in my previous tutorial like if i ventilate a frontal that is already sewn on the wig cap i first start by ventilating half an inch half an inch <laughs> half an inch at the back then i will flip the hair then ventilate from the back going to the front so this way it will be easy for me to get like um the horizontal lines that i want if i start right there the part that i've sewn i will not get the pattern that i need so right here i'm just picking two strands of hair and skipping one line two strands of hair skipping one line like uh ventilating i'm not ventilating all the lines like in my previous tutorial i ventilated all the lines i was skipping only walls so on this one i'm ventilating one line skipping one line ventilating one vertical line skipping one vertical line so this is how the hair is looking like yeah so right here this is how it's looking so i'm going to be ventilating um using three different patterns so these two uh sections right there i'm going to do uh horizontal i'm going to ventilate horizontally right here the second i'm going to ventilate slanted way and the last i'm going to ventilate vertically so right here i'm picking two strands of hair and skipping one wall two strands of hair and skipping one wall then go to the next line like uh if we focus on let's focus on one vertical line you ventilate one small horizontal line then skip one ventilate one skip one ventilate one skip one up until you finish that vertical line then skip one line and go to the third then do the same thing guys i hope you understand what i'm trying to say right here ventilate one horizontal line skip one horizontal line ventilate one horizontal line skip one horizontal line and vertically ventilate one vertical line and skip one vertical line ventilate one vertical line and skip one vertical line and guys right here at the back i'm picking two strands of hair and when i reach the hairline i'm going to pick one strand of hair so right here i did say that uh at the hairline i leave half an inch if i'm using straight hair like in my previous i did use afro and i left about uh three quarters of an inch to one inch so if it's straight here you can leave only half an inch from half an inch uh to the hairline you start ventilating one strand of hair to get that natural look uh that you won't be needing to pluck your hair or do anything to it so from half an inch if you're using straight hair ventilate only one strand one strand one strand up until you reach your hairline and continue uh with the same pattern of ventilating one vertical line and skipping one vertical line and horizontally ventilate one uh horizontal line and skip one horizontal line continue doing that pattern and follow your hairline make sure when you are sewing your lace on your wicket make sure you leave about uh one and a half to two inches of 
le extra uh, like the less you ventilate but you won't be sewing it on your wig so that when you wear your wig it will lay really flat on your ear part it won't irritate so i'm done with the first section and i'm going to the uh, second section like the next curve and i'm also doing horizontal lines i'm just going to uh, repeat the same thing that i did on the first section so the third and the fourth like in the middle i'm going to ventilate um slanted but you can ventilate uh one way throughout the entire frontal but i just want to show you different patterns uh you can choose uh whichever pattern you like whichever pattern is fast for you so uh, i'm just going to finish right here ventilating uh, horizontal lines then i will show you how to ventilate uh, in a slanted pattern so guys if you don't know how to ventilate i have a video on that uh, this video i just uh, fast forwarded it was i didn't want it to be too long i wanted everything to be right here so that's why i did it on fast forward but if you don't know how to ventilate uh, do check out the video that i'm going to link in the description so that you can um, see how to use a ventilating needle everything you can see on that video so just in case you haven't seen my previous video on how i ventilated a t frontal please guys do go and check it out and you can see another way i spaced like uh in that um in my previous uh, t frontal i did not skip lines i only skipped holes you can also check out that pattern and you can also use it to ventilate like a 4 by 11 or a 4 by 12 or any kind of frontal you uh you want so you can check out that method and if you prefer this one or the one that i did previously you can check and you can compare which method works best for you so guys always remember two strands at the back and one at the front not more than that do not pick too much here do not pick too much here like uh, your work won't be nice so make sure it's two at the back and one at the front like that so ventilate following uh, the lines that you marked the line or, um, or your hairline so just in case you haven't checked the video that I made this week cap guys I'm going to also link it in the description so that if you don't know how to uh, make uh, uh, like to prepare your frontal and to prepare your hairline you can check it out and at the end of the video I'm also going to show you how I'm uh, another way of uh, removing the Concealer that I used to mark the hairline. So in my previous video I showed you how to remove using makeup remover So in this one, I'm going to show you another method guys like that one everyone we have it at home like it's so easy not everyone have a uh, makeup remover some people don't apply makeup so they won't have it but this method everyone yes uh, those kind of things so keep watching so right here I'm going to ventilate started uh, on the single section so ventilate one line then uh, one more then the other then come back to the first then ventilate the third and come back to the second and ventilate the first so you just ventilate are uh, going in a slanted manner yeah like that so guys um you can use a method that you prefer but as for me i prefer the uh horizontal and the vertical way it's easier for me it's much easier for me so if you like this one you can also use this one so make sure when you reach uh, the part at the front that you are supposed to pick one strand you have to pick one and continue ventilating in your slanted so at the back uh, in a slanted line pick two 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 when you're reaching the hairline make sure it's one line make sure it's one line it doesn't matter your lines are slanted it doesn't matter your lines are horizontal or vertical when you are reaching the part that you're supposed to ventilate one strand of hair make sure you only pick one make sure you only pick one so if you're a beginner uh you should use the horizontal method or the uh, vertical stay away from the slanted because it will confuse you it will confuse you so the vertical and the horizontal are much easier to understand if you're a beginner uh it's easier so yeah guys uh, as you can see right there as i'm reaching the part that i'm supposed to pick one strand i will switch from two 
to one strand to get a natural looking frontal so guys ventilating in patterns does not differentiate how your frontal will look like at the end of the day you are just um going uh you're just ventilating in a different like a different angle but you must make sure if you are skipping lines you must make sure that your pattern uh when you're ventilating you are skipping lines if you are not skipping lines make sure your pattern is also doing that you are not skipping lines but if you're a beginner guys uh for it to not confuse you you should stick to one uh, pattern if you want to ventilate horizontally make sure you do it throughout the entire frontal or closure so that you don't confuse yourself so when you are uh, like when you are used to it you can switch uh, the patterns like if you're bored with one you can switch to the other if you're bored with the other you can switch to the other one so but if you're a beginner make sure you, you if you choose a pattern to start with Go with that throughout the entire frontal or the entire closure so that you won't confuse yourself so right here this is the third uh, part like the other side of the ear i'm ventilating vertically from the back all the way to the front from the back to the front and when you're reaching the front an inch before your hairline ventilate picking a uh, switch from two strands to one strand of hair yeah guys so it's just the same after you finish ventilating like everything will just blend in like uh you won't see like the if you try to open like vertical lines you see them if you open uh, horizontal you see if you open slanted any part of the frontal it will be just the same so guys this uh frontal is good for like making braided wigs this one i'm going to use it to make uh a nano braided wig like those tiny tiny braids I'm going to use this one to do that and it will be easy for me to open the patterns and uh, the other advantage of this frontal you can also do triangle braids you can do knotless box braids you can do cornrows you can do any kind any kind but it's easy to open uh, the partings and the hair is uh, like full enough to do any pattern that you want to do so if you are like someone who's lazy to ventilate like all these holes like it's too much uh part three is definitely for you i'm going to show you a different uh spacing method that you can use uh and that one is fast is fast 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 so make sure you stick around uh and watch uh you have to watch like all the uh the spacing patterns everything so that you can choose which one which frontal you prefer the most so if you are a lazy person but you like frontals part three is definitely for you because it's quick and easy like it's easy to do so uh make sure you subscribe if you are new so that you can watch that one guys so right here i'm done ventilating this part right here guys and it's looking like this make sure uh, do let me know what you think so right here i'm going to like to remove one side you can see it's clean i'm using a uh, soap and uh, a towel a soft towel guys and uh, just wrap it off like that just you can see it's uh, removing i use concealer right here just use any kind of concealer uh, to mark and use soap and a towel guys and it will remove like that if you don't have makeup remover just use this method guys and your concealer will be removed and your frontal will be clean yeah after that if there's like some residue some soap you can just wipe it off like that guys and this is how it's looking this is how it's looking guys do let me know what you think about this frontal do let me know guys if you are new don't forget to subscribe and if you're already a subscriber thank you thank you so much guys for your support thank you thank you thank you so much so do let me know what you think if you have any questions do ask me in the comment section guys uh do let me know what you think don't forget to like subscribe share and guys um I will see you like uh wait guys look at how it's blending with the skin guys did you see how it's blending with the skin
so as you can see this front row is like full so if you like this one uh, you can do it and in the next one i will also show you another spacing and another method of how to do your front row, guys so thank you thank you so much for watching guys thank you thank you so much and i will see you in my next video goodbye